from the Penn Libraries. Hello, I'm so happy to be here. It's my first time at the lightning round. Um, and I want to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, turf. The only way I can talk about this in three minutes is to talk about it as an ecosystem of spaces and embedded tools, not just a tool. And I use it to teach this class so that we can incorporate students from everywhere in a more engaging environment than I've been able to do otherwise. So our program uh, caters to full-time master's students that are mobile, and, um, and so it's a theory practice course. We have a dual objective of both uh, looking at collaboration from a number of perspectives conceptually, but also teaching them to work better uh, jointly uh, with tools. So here's turf. In the center, you see the classroom that we use this semester. It has seating areas. It has a layered board in the center front. So there's a menu on that board, and you can click each layer and uh, pull up something else. On the back left, you see there's a little bookshelf. There's one click video recording of classes, so you can put your little videos on the shelf and tell students where they are. You can organize them like a little library or anything else you want to put there. On the right, you see a Python whiteboard, good as any electronic whiteboard, and um, it can run others around the world. To the right, you'll, you're seeing something I'm going to tell you about in a minute. It's a little sound attenuated breakout room. We have many of them. So around the center, what you're seeing is the final project, the team projects in the class. They're, uh, in the second half of the semester, what they do is they take what we've uh, read about and discussed online and other things, and they, they put it into practice by creating a 3D event. They invite people, and they uh, design the content and the process and all the interactive tools. And so you have the welcome and intros. You can see that we can do physical polling. That is, the avatars can jump and vote on things as you would in the room, little um, opening icebreaker exercises. There's regular polling as well, as you see in the, uh, in the small room where people are talking to each other. And there's polls on the wall. And they kind of click and show everybody what they say. On the right, what you see is a very powerful infinity wall. You can use it. Um, each screen can be a data screen, electronic data screen around the world. You can show big data if you want, control it from the room, and you show all the screens. Um, you, we have a big auditorium where you can uh, bring guest speakers. They can stand at a lecture. They see their presentation. Other people see it. The rooms are sound attenuated. I'll point you to uh, the young man who put his face on it. You can just turn on your video cam and do web conferencing or use your picture. Um, you can do regular size video conferencing. You can leave your stuff. It's permanent and work on it week to week. You can watch shared video and discuss. And the, the fun part is like Second Life or any other virtual world, you can build things. But here it's drag and drop. So during a conference break, somebody dragged a tree in and we tried to climb it. Uh, <laughs> You can create outdoor spaces or uh, customize the space in any way you want. I was thinking it would be beautiful to make it look like this next year, which you can do with CAD CAM drawings. All right, that's it. That's turf. Um, and why use it? Uh, I've talked about it a little bit, and you have it here online. Thank you. Thank you.